This is Robert Plank from WebsiteRemote.com. Let's talk about and let's show you how to set up global headers and footers across multiple WordPress sites. We're going to use this tool here called Website Remote. This is a tool where you can manage all of your WordPress blogs, see everything that's going on with them, update WordPress itself, update plugins and themes all from one location. So we're going to use WebsiteRemote.com. And once I have an account and once I've logged in, I've added a handful of sites that I want to remotely administer. So I have sites like RobertPlank.com here and I have membershipnewbie.com and I have webinar crusher blog so I have seven sites but I'm just gonna open up a handful of them and in website remote we can one click update WordPress or at least see what versions we're running but the thing I want to show you today is how to manage a set of headers and footers across all of these sites so for example uh, I have some blog posts here and maybe I want to have like a tracking code like a Google Analytics or live chat code and they tell me to put it on the bottom of my site and I might say well that's great for you to say but I have 200 WordPress sites how do I add this tracking code to all of my sites and I might want to have a signature like a special link at the bottom of my blogs and things like that so how do I do that to a handful or to hundreds of WordPress sites? Well, the answer is website remote. We can go to this settings link in the sidebar and we have this area here where we can uh, put some custom meta tags, put something at the top of all of our sites, put something at the top of our blog post, the bottom of each blog post. So let me just kind of show you how it works. So uh, we, we aren't even going to log into these sites. We're not even going to touch these sites. We're only going to tell Website Remote to make the changes we're about to make to all of our sites at once. So I can say like, okay, let me just see how this ends up looking. I can say, uh, I'm going to add a signature to all my posts here. All right. So this is literally all I've done. I've said where we have the, the code at the bottom of every post. And this could be if you know HTML, if you know PHP, whatever, it all works. We'll click Save Changes. And that's literally all we've clicked. Okay, We've just filled in and we've just said that I'm going to add a signature to all my posts here. And the changes should now be saved. So I'll switch back to my Webinar Crusher blog. I'll refresh that. And if I scroll down to the bottom, we can see that I'm going to add a signature to all my posts here. If I go back to Membership Newbie, this is another one of my sites. I'll refresh it. I haven't done anything else. But now I'm going to add a signature to all my posts here. I can go back to Robert Plank and I can click on one of my blog posts because it's applied this to my entire site. And we can say I'm going to add a signature to all my posts here. So we can even make this something like if you know HTML coding at all, we can say I'm going to make this a link. So I'll just make this a link to my main site. So we can say Robert Plank's blog, have a link to that, save the changes there, give that a second to push it out to all of the different sites, and we can refresh a Webinar Crusher blog. There we go. Now there's a link to my blog. So you're beginning to see the possibilities here is that I can rotate or change up the offer that I am pushing on all of the and this maybe this needs to be a little bit differently, but now I can change up the offer I'm I'm showing on literally hundreds of different sites. But it doesn't stop there because I can say that maybe uh, I have some kind of tracking code for all my sites, right? Like if we have like a Google Analytics or if we have like some kind of live chat thing, I maybe I say I'll take out the signature for now, and I want to have at the very bottom of my blog I want to put some kind of tracking code so I can keep tabs on the people coming to my site so I'll save the changes there and that's all done and I'll just refresh these three sites I've been looking at so if I scroll down to the very bottom here we go so on Robert Plank I've got the tracking code so usually when someone gives you tracking code for like a pop-up or a live chat or for a anything like that conversion tracking uh, you don't see the text it's invisible but you get the idea now it's in the bottom of the web page same thing for this site and if I it's kind of hidden there we can see it appeared right there uh, and then if I look at my webinar crusher then we can go to the bottom there 
and oh there it is right there tracking code for all of my sites so we can even drill down real quick as we're winding this down we can even drill down and we can say okay well for this membership newbie site um, I want to add a signature custom for this site, right? Like maybe I have a blog where I want to promote like a membership course for the membership blog, but then for the webinar blog, I want to promote a webinar course. Well, we can do that very easily. We can just say that I'm going to edit the settings for membership newbie, and then I'll put a post footer, and I'll just do uh, some of this stuff again. I'll say put a link to my membership site. Sorry if this is kind of geeky, but uh, claim your access to membership cube now. And we'll save the changes there, and that will be for membership newbie. Okay. And then I'm going to switch over to Webinar Crusher blog. And in the settings for Webinar Crusher blog, I'm going to say that the post footer here will link to Webinar Crush. Whoops, Webinar Crusher. Claim your access to Webinar Crusher now. All right. So let's see what we've just done here. Is that we've added the tracking code to all of these sites. So so this will still stay here on all of the sites. But then we've individually set for Webinar Crusher, and maybe we'll have to go back and center this. So for Webinar Crusher, we'll say align equals center. Save that change and refresh. Aha, cool. Now this is centered. So now every post that I have here, doesn't matter how old or how many years ago I made them, uh, now at the bottom of every post, we have a link to our Webinar Crusher program. Likewise, in our Membership Newbie blog, the bottom of every post here has a link to membership cube and they all have uh, the tracking code so on this one it's tracked here and on this one it's it's right at the bottom underneath this stuff but it still appears so notice how we made these changes to our WordPress sites without ever logging into any of them not even once we just went to our website remote area and we said that for all sites I own I want to put this tracking code at the bottom of all of my sites and then we, we could have a, a special code at the top of all of our sites at the top or bottom of each and every blog post we have but we said I'm just going to make a custom offer for everyone who reads my membership newbie blog I'm going to make a custom offer for everyone who reads my webinar crusher blog so we can have full or some control over the links and the appearance and all the goodies we have on our WordPress sites. And this is all possible using this tool that I've been showing you called Website Remote, where you can remotely manage, update, and maintain all of your WordPress sites, whether you have 7, 50, 500, or 1,000 all in one place. And the, the place to get that is to go to WebsiteRemote.com right now. Go to the bottom and choose your package, and I'll see you on the inside of WebsiteRemote.com. So today we've shown you how to uh, set up and kind of drill down and customize the headers and footers of all of your WordPress sites using this tool that you can grab right now today at WebsiteRemote.com. I'm Robert Plank. Thanks for watching.